Yeah, hi everyone. I'm Vikram P. Maduri here. In this session, we're going to discuss about the SAP S4 HANA 1802 overview. This has been launched on this February 4th, 2018. So, and uh, there are some exciting things that we can discuss about S4 HANA 1802. Uh, there are some developments which, uh, you know, you can, you can, they are very fascinating from the SAP perspective and, you know, from the business perspective as well. So, SAP S4 HANA Cloud for Finance is uh, SAP's first release update of 2018 includes several innovations that uh, make our solutions even more future ready and uh, taken together further evolve uh, SAP S4 HANA. So cloud towards the intelligent enterprise. So with SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1802, we leverage not only great innovations in the areas of machine learning and predictive analytics, but combine and enrich these by means of SAP Digital Assistant, SAP Copilot with within uh, with many other functionalities. So we already know that in, in the previous versions, uh, SAP Leonardo was introduced and uh, you know machine learning was actively been a part of uh, SAP's uh, growth. So now we we add few more uh, few more feathers to the existing technologies, uh, you know, associating this SAP Digital Assistant and Copilot as well with this uh, existing uh, technology technologies in the latest SAP S4 HANA versions. We have, uh, this is uh, one image where we have the incoming sales orders. So we can have immediate predictions based on, based on uh, SAP S4 HANA predictor, which can give you the details about what exactly are the expected sales orders that can, you know, uh, get into your, get into the organization and uh, uh, hopefully this, this can be closed in the near future. So these pred predictions will help us a lot in uh, closing down the business, which is very near, near to us or with, uh, almost to be, almost to be closed. So incoming sales orders app showing uh, orders that uh, have uh, been featured, captured, but not yet been shipped or built. So these are the things that we have uh, in the incoming sales order. And you can also have the predictions about uh, the, you know, on the sales that have been, that ha that almost have to be closed uh, based on the inquiries that we have made that can also be done in this, uh, uh, in this uh, technology or in this latest version very effectively. So when we have, uh, automated payment processing within SAP Leonardo Machine Learning. So moreover, SAP S4 HANA Cloud Cloud 102 includes our new automated uh, payment advice uh, processing, leveraging SAP Leonardo, adding a cloud-based machine learning service that fully integrates uh, with SAP S4 HANA Cloud. So by then, by now, everyone of us already know that you know Leonardo is uh, something which is uh, which takes care of the IoT Internet of Things. SAP's solution on Internet of Things is Leonardo, and uh, on this technology, uh, based on that, we connect our SAP system with the uh, with various uh, different um, different objects and uh, different tools and different uh, uh, in, in, in different equipment or uh, or uh, devices uh, which actually gets connected with the sap and we, we in turn can you know run the run those uh, or uh, we can integrate those into sap cloud uh, uh, cloud platform so in with this what happens is like whenever we have the payment uh, to be done through a particular device that device can be in turn connected with the uh, sap using the machine level machine language uh, of that particular system and uh, you interconnect with that sap s4 hana so this innovation drastically reduces manual efforts the service extracts required information about payments from unstructured information documents such as bank statements structures this information and automatically initiates the clearing process this saves time and costs as more more payments can be processed in less time and less errors are made due to the repeated manual involvement so in fact uh, businesses can scale much faster and more easily for freeing their uh, employees for value adding activities so basically we are looking at something like you know automation of payment process wherein you 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 take care of the you know repeated uh, repeated uh, payments uh, in, in a very tasteful way and uh, without wasting the time of the customer as well as well as uh, our own organization with which we can save the time of the employees as well as save the time of the customer and making giving him giving them a very good experience of the sales and if we observe in the recent uh, times the payments are done quickly when we have uh, good options uh, been uh, given to the customer and uh, and these options have to be user friendly so that that's what uh, sap is doing uh, focused on in the 1802 transaction 1802 software as well as in the future softwares as well so in, in, in the manufacturing area, SAP S4 HANA Cloud 1802 add, 
great innovative capabilities to the functionalities around our demand driven replenishment replenishment so we always today business runs on demand based so the more dem the demand of a particular service or a product we have to focus more on that uh, to you know serve better and quickly with uh, within the time frame of the customers expectations which can be easily easily achieved when we have integration between the various devices into the sap hana system so in addition to providing functions to process plan adjustment factors and time dependent uh, buffer levels we non we now also offer capabilities to process demand driven replenishments planning and execution from end to end it's great news as well as well that uh, as of uh, sap s4 hana cloud m102 our solutions is certified for its ddr and ddmrp compliance by the demand driven institute which we can in turn discuss about this in detail in the next videos or you can also browse through uh, some couple of documentations based on the dd ddmrp compliance uh, details okay so here we have uh, one more pick in which we have uh, the buffer levels uh, you can see the standard product details so uh, we have managed buffer levels app uh, showing planned adjustment factors and buffer levels so here we have uh, you know there are certain buffer levels which can be adjusted and uh, what exactly is today's predictions and all these buffer levels can be managed and uh, planned in the plant manufacturing or uh, supply of the materials in in any of this uh, you know organizations so quality control chart and record results for inspection positive points so additionally sap expo hana cloud uh, 102 leverages innovation beneficial to quality management that are related to the recording of uh, results during the production process employees in quality management are provided with capabilities for statistical process control as well as with the new uh, quality control chart to monitor and control the quality of production process from end to end so what exactly it means is like we can control the control everything in an organization starting from the financials to the manufacturing to the quality of the quality of the products or the quality of service that we are providing and also increase the employees quality management uh, you know everything can be enhanced using making use of this money zero to latest version of uh, sap s4 release so here sap s4 hana cloud 102 uh, uh, can also be used for professional services it leverages a few innovations in professional services as of these release our uh, solution support the new of uh, need of professional services industry to provide services to customers without charging them uh, which may be necessary to win a certain customer deals so during the ramp ramp up uh, phase of the of a project or simply to show goodwill to the client uh, so we have some professional services and enhanced uh, features or uh, a, a, a step ahead of uh, you know going up uh, a step further in that service is what uh, actually it is uh, it, it means so for this uh, you know the, this particular professional services uh, uh, part of uh, sap s hana will be useful so product managers now can plan and categorize uh, non billable work packages in time and expenses projects the non billable items are then visible in the release release billing proposal app next to regular billable items and are written off automatically which increases overall efficiency and frees project managers for more sophisticated tasks so you know there are a lot of automated uh, processes which actually are done by the man by the managers uh, manually right now today so we have uh, billing control category applications uh, providing an overview over billable as well as non billable items so we have a couple of billable and non billable items uh, which can be you know categorized easily and uh, we can see uh, down what are the billable and non billable items and we can easily categorize them and you know go ahead with the processing sap s4 hana cloud for sourcing and procurement uh, central sap s4 hana procurement hub down payment monitor app these are the things that have been introduced in 1802 enhanced functions sap s4 hana cloud 1802 leverages enhanced functions around activities associated with purchasing analytics to increase visibility in purchase purchasing spend we have uh, developed a new new down payment monitor app so whenever uh, there is a down payment uh, this application can be in use for uh, you know enhanced uh, experience of the of the client and this analytical list page provides a comprehensive overview of all down payment documents documented for any purchase order in the system from the graphical overview employees can filter for any purchase order and directly drill down to the line line item level so which allows them to plan and optimize cash flow faster but above all more intelligently and efficiently 
so then we have the down payment monitor app it's something which looked like this and uh, for all purchase orders in the system so you can just have a look at like uh, you know I, I'm giving the criteria as uh, the, the the currency type is euro so for currency type euro what are the what are the all the payment processes that are been have to be executed or um, you know we they displayed here clearly so you know there are some status descriptions wherein whether it is released or partially released we can easily find out uh, these are all related to the down payment of the customer or the client so sap s4 and cloud user community so this is uh, one additional feature has been introduced in 1802 uh, version so sap will be launching sap s4 hana cloud user community this interactive uh, platform will be available to all sap s4 hana cloud customers partners and prospects to exchange information about our products our cloud solutions and uh, sap best practices related to them so in fact the sap s4 hana cloud user community is a new pillar for our uh, ultimate uh, goal we want to uh, we want our customers to succeed with our new leading edge product the new user community is there to give them the access to the content support and resources they need to drive success through each stage of their journey so if we if we all we all as a sap consultant know that we already were using sc and sdn platforms uh, for integrating with the various uh, in, uh, consultants across the globe uh, who are working on sap but going a step further we also can you know, pro provide services to the customers um, wherein they can easily fix the issues which they are facing at that point of time which will be a, a step further in uh, giving uh, providing uh, better services for the customer in a quick and uh, a timely timely responsive manner so this uh, comes to uh, with this uh, we come to the end of this uh, video and uh, in coming videos i'm going to discuss more about the 1802 platform and in detail about uh, technical details about uh, the the platform and a um, lot of advantages and we can discuss more about this in the coming videos please do subscribe to our channel thanks thanks for watching this video